In today's stock analysis, we will perform fundamental analysis of stock Honeywell. We will cover all these points for better stock picking. Honeywell closed at $202.23, with the decrease of negative 1.58% in the last trading session. Let's look at today's trend indicators. The moving average is bearish. Technical indication is in downtrend. And overall daily trend for the stock is in very declining trend. Looking at weekly analysis. The weekly stock trend is in positive trend. Today's market fear and greed index is 73, which is indicating greedy emotion in the public sentiment. We usually look at this indicator to make our buy or sell decisions better. Honeywell gave negative 2.17% returns in the last week, negative 4.16% in the last 30 days, and three months returns are negative 4.32%. Now let's have a look at simple moving average data. Moving average indicates that what could be the next footprint of the stock price in near future. Five-day average is 204 with a bearish indication. 10 days 206 with a bearish indication. 20-day average is 207 which is a bearish signal. Let's look at fundamental analysis. We will mainly see the last two quarters of the company. In September 22, the revenue was $8,951 million. In the recent quarter, December 22, it increased to $9,186 million. Now let's see the profitability of Honeywell. In the quarter, September 22, the profits were $1,552 million. And in the recent quarter, December 22, the profits declined to $10.19 million. Let's see debt numbers. Debt to equity number tells us how much the company is in debt. In the first quarter, it was 1.5, then it increased to 1.9, then in third quarter it again went down to 0.96. In the recent quarter the debt score increased to 1.13. Generally this ratio should not be over 2.0, to see today's buy or sell decision of this stock, we will use the Buy Sell Indicator web page. Just press the Analyze button on the page. And it will calculate all indicators and display today's buy or sell decision for this stock. I am putting up the link in the description box. Please help yourself.